testimony became explosive when the defense shouted at the witness trying to discredit her. But even through tears, she stuck with that story that Anthony Garcia, or Dr. Tony as he'd like to be called, bragged to her about murder. It happened three years ago, but Cecilia Hoffman says it felt like a different lifetime. She used to be an exotic dancer. Now she's a witness here to testify against Anthony Garcia, one of her regulars in Terre Haute, Indiana. Prosecutor Brenda Beadle asks, he spent a lot of money on you? Hoffman, yes, $100 a night would be normal for him. She says they had dinner maybe a half dozen times, but she recalled one vividly. Hoffman testified, I told him he's too good for me. I like bad boys. Then he said, actually, I've killed people before. He said it was an old woman and a young boy. Hoffman says she thought it was a joke and asked why. Garcia told her they deserved it. Then a change of heart. Maybe they didn't, but I had to and feel bad. But the defense tried to shake the jury's trust. Bob Mata Jr. asks, you had an addiction problem? Hoffman, I definitely did, yes. Mata Jr., on a daily basis? Hoffman, yes. I felt like I had to, uh, I guess I get a little more aggressive with her. Mata went rounds with Hoffman regarding her exchange with his private detective, where she apparently questioned her own credibility. I told him I do know what I heard, but maybe I wouldn't be credible because I was drunk. I would say I raised my voice. I would say that's a fair assessment. Prosecutors firing back. That private detective, he put a lot of words in your mouth. Yes, Hoffman replied. Months after dinner with Hoffman, Garcia turned up in this video from Council Bluffs Casey's on May 12, 2013. His bake statement confirmed the use of a debit card, and his cell phone used a nearby tower, experts testified. May 12th is when prosecutors believe Roger and Mary Brumbach were murdered. Mata asks, you read the news about Garcia's arrest, you didn't call police? Hoffman says, no. Mata, nothing further. Now, Mata replied about making Hoffman cry that this is a life or death case. We also saw the receipt for a gun purchase to Anthony Garcia on March 8th. And tomorrow, we expect to hear from the detective who will connect all the prosecution's pieces. Back to you. Okay.